Hi. I'm happy to announce the 2017 Tuesday Topic Series presented by the Friends and Foundation of the Rochester Public Library. All Tuesday Topics are held from 12.12 to 12.52 p.m. in Kate Gleason Auditorium at the Central Library of Rochester and Monroe County, located at 115 South Avenue in downtown Rochester, New York. They're free and open to the public. We begin our season on Tuesday, January 17th, with Rochester Police Deputy Chief Scott Peters talking about policing in 2017, promises and pitfalls. From body cameras to Black Lives Matter, police work has new opportunities and challenges as never before. Hear how responsive the department reorganization has been to those opportunities, and learn what the greatest challenges to public safety are today. On January 24th, AHL and Rochester Americans Hall of Famer Jody Gage. Find out what's new with Rochester's own professional hockey team and hear stories from past and present seasons from Mr. Amherst himself. On January 31st, we're taking a look at the opioid crisis. Dr. Mark Winsberg will explain the effects of heroin, morphine, and prescription pain medication on the brain. We'll also consider the balance between pain relief and drug abuse. Join us. I have a folder this big, this thick, with IDs and passwords for all of my internet uh, websites. I can't remember them. I can't even think about them. I have to change them every six months. Yet hackers seem to be able to go in with no problem, okay, to my bank, to my shopping accounts, to my own computer, and hack it. What do they know that I don't? On February 7th, Professor Bill Stackpole will be with us to discuss hacking, how they do it, why they do it, and what we can do to prevent it. WXXI is celebrating five decades of public television in Rochester this year. Go back in time to hear about the studios in the Old East High School and learn about the dedication of Harold Hacker and the founding trustees. On February 14th, President and CEO Norm Silverstein will also present what WXXI offers today in education, arts, and culture in our community. We're talking about refugees on February 21st with Lisa Hoyt of Catholic Family Center. How does the United States, and Rochester in particular, assist refugees often arriving with serious health risks, economic difficulties, and mental health strain? Learn how Catholic Family Center has helped over 15,000 refugees resettle in Rochester. Western New York has abundant fresh water, but how clean is it? Is it safe? On Tuesday, February 28th, Dr. Joseph Makarowitz, Professor Emeritus of SUNY Brockport, will present a checkup on our local waterways, addressing pollution and the safeguards in place for protecting this vital resource. Hello. This year marks the 100th anniversary of women winning the right to vote in New York State and now women are holding unprecedented levels of leadership in government. On March 7th, Deborah Hughes of the Susan B. Anthony Museum and House will tell us about the suffrage centennial and the events planned to celebrate these achievements. While remembering the history of women's struggle for political, social, and economic equality.